So hi, I wasn't actually planning to make this video, but I was planning to use this, but I thought, why don't I film it, you know, because it's interesting, I guess, and it's educational, I guess. I'm not an expert or anything, but I guess I can teach you something, or you can see my reaction to it. Yeah, I'm trying menstrual cup for the first time ever, and I'm gonna be wearing it for a week, but I'm gonna try it first. Uh, before my period and then my period because I'm worried that I won't be able to put it in Yeah, that's why I'm trying it before my period so it doesn't get messy, you know so ah, I already opened this because I was looking at it and then after that I thought why don't I make this video? So I already opened it. So Yeah, so inside this box. There is this cute little bag look at this cutie it said make your periods great again it's pretty cute uh yeah and then you open this inside of this bag there is the they gave me a lube because um you need it yeah you don't want to put it in dry and shit if it's your first time of course it's gonna be hard and then the menstrual cup. I'm gonna educate you a little bit what is cup is used for and shit. So this is a menstrual cup. If you haven't seen one. This is how you put it inside. Uh, from what I learned from the videos I watch. Is it, there's a different types of folds. Let me show you. There's actually a lot. So yeah, I think um, from the picture, there's eight, but I don't know if there's more, but yeah. Uh, this is all the folds. For first timers, they recommend me the, the punch down and fold. This one. That's how you put it in. And then I'm gonna do this and then just put it like that. Yeah, like that. Make sure you can pull it so like you can feel it like it's pulling, like it creates a vacuum. So yeah. Sorry, I didn't think Jasmine here. I know it's dark. Um, I'm getting ready to sleep. But uh, about the menstrual cup, like once you try to like putting it in, it doesn't always immediately open. So what I would recommend is like once you put it in, feel around the cup and make sure like it's not bent. Make sure like it, it's like in an open form. And I would also suggest wiggling it a little bit, like turn it around tr to try open it. Like you, it has to open. And sometimes you can feel like the popping, a popping like sound or like the popping. Eh, that's not a popping sound. I mean, like something like that. Uh, the sound of it opening inside. Yeah, that's how I do it. This is after you you're done using it after twelve hours or something. You just pull it out pour the blood and then you wash the cup with water people say ju you just use water you know this was water and pop it back in after you're done with your period you boil it again uh, i'm using a new pan a cheap pan you can use this for like 12 hours and then you only have to change it two times a day which is very very nice if you successfully put this in it's gonna leak because it's your first time and you need to adjust to it and yeah it's like learning a new thing at first you suck at it and then you learn how to do it more properly and then you get pro at it it's just like that i think that's all for the explanation and now we're gonna try it i believe i won't be able to put it in but i might surprise myself trying not to be scared or nervous but i am a little bit anxious you would say so yeah because this is a new thing for me i haven't tried it i haven't even used the tampon so yeah i'm scared i'll see you in the boiling pot <laughs> so i'm gonna fill my new pot my new pot with water I put a lot of water in it so the mesh cup doesn't get burned or like close to the pot so yeah so the pan is boiling hot right now I'm gonna put it in Oop. <gasps> it's not floating what do I do it's not floating help yeah I'm gonna set it for 
Seven minutes. Yep. I'm gonna keep holding that cup because I'm scared. I'm scared it'll burn. It's floating, all right. Uh, I'm scared. We need to take the menstrual cup out. Boom. And waited for it to cool down. So it's already cooled down, so I think I can wear it. It's actually pretty cool, so yeah. It's cooled down, I'm gonna try to put it in with some lube. Wait. And me and my friend are trying this actually. So yeah, wait for it. Oh shit! Almost slept! Oh my god. So yeah, I'm pretty nervous right now. <sighs> By the way, I'm vlogging this, so don't say anything that you don't want in the internet. Or... Right, my strongest hand? Bruh, this is so chaotic, I can't. I can't get it in actually. Yeah, I, I tried, but I think I can't. So, of course, as expected, I didn't succeed. Actually, I put like 70% in. I put it like almost all in. But I was scared to let it go because I was scared it would pop open and fucking rip everything. I'll try day two. I was scared to let go because... I was like, I don't want to! Ah! <laughs> but like, I was scared. But it actually went more far than I expected. Actually, so I was shocked. But yeah, I'll try again tomorrow. We'll see. Several days later. Okay, I'm naked right now. But I think I succeeded! Ah! I succeeded, I think. I think I did properly. I just need to push in a little bit. But I think I did it properly. I'm so surprised I did it. So, the story is, my friend did it correctly. And shit, I was like, what the fuck? And she said, you just have to push it in. You just have to push it in. It won't hurt more. You just, you just have to push it in. And I did. And it kind of hurt a little bit, but it went in. And I did it! Ah! This almost took me close to 10 tries. Like, for real. Oh my god, I'm so, so proud of myself. Ah! I'm so proud of myself. So I'm going to check it again if I put it properly or not. I'll update you. Um... The next time I'm gonna have my period because I actually finished my period like yesterday. My dumbass was too scared to try it, but we'll do it in the next month. See you later. Bye bye. Hi, I just fucking woke up and I'm bleeding through. Fuck. Let's try the menstrual cup. Wash it first. I bought this. Mmm. Like yesterday, I don't know. Now we're gonna wash it. Um, putting this in before, but I'm scared now. I'm scared again. I'm scared. What does it have to be now? Oh my god. I predicted that I was gonna get my period soon because I wasn't eating. Like, I, I didn't get the appetite to. I'm gonna try it now. Scared. Should I poop first? Am I hurting because I'm on a poop or I'm on a period? Oh my god, it hurts, bro. I forgot how much it hurts. Oh my god. Oh my god, 
is it open? Oh my god! Is it freaking open? Oh my god! Oh my god, I succeeded! <laughs> oh my god! I was really fucking scared that I wouldn't be able to do it. But I did it! Oh my god! Oh my god, I think I did it perfectly too! What the fuck? I'm a fucking pro! Cause when I pull it, there's like a suction feeling. So I think I did, I did it right. What the fuck? <gasps> the fuck? I don't feel anything. They were right. I don't feel anything. I feel like... I don't feel anything. Now, I'll see you guys in 4 hours or something until I feel like I'm full because I need to sleep now. I'm like, I'm like tired, bro. So before anything, I'm gonna use a pad on my panties to see if there's any leak because they said the three month, uh, the first three months is a learning curve. It's gonna leak. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wear a pad or some kind of like something to like to see if there's any blood for the leakage yes i'm back from the mall uh this is the update we're gonna take it out because i'm gonna shower that's a lot oh my god what the fuck it, it doesn't smell so yeah i successfully took it out every time i take it out it kind of hurts actually but it's all right it doesn't hurt that much I think it's because it's my first time. Girls who doesn't use a menstrual cup, so when you use a pad, it's like you're bleeding a lot, right? But when you use a menstrual cup, it's like only like this. Like, I bleed a lot. Like, I bleed like a lot, a ton. Like, a whole sheet like full of blood. But this is only like this much. My period, it woke up and chose violence today. Because, bro, when I say it hurts like a bitch, it really does. Oh my god. Just imagining it. Oh my god. Makes my tummy hurt. But yeah, I'm gonna reinsert it after I take a shower and then you're gonna see me tomorrow. So, I'm gonna shower. Before I shower, I'm gonna take up my menstrual cup and see how it's doing, you know? Like usual. And I see from my pad that it, it did not leak. That's a good sign. A good, good sign. Oh my god. I feel like every time I pull on the metro cup, I feel like it's sucking my lungs. For real. I feel like if I want to like pull it out, it's like I'm pulling up my lungs also. And my entire vagina. Ow. So I cleaned it, nothing new. I pulled it out and it hurts like a bitch. And yeah, that's all. There's nothing new. And yeah, yeah, I'm getting better at it. That's good. But yeah, that's it. That's the update. Boop. So I just woke up and I checked zero leaks. Nada. Zero. I was impressed. Honestly. It's overnight. I was impressed. And now, I think I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to take it out like later. Because I feel like there's no leaks. I think it's like my third day or fourth day. Yeah, it's. I think it's the end of my period or something. That's why um, I'm going to take it out later when it's full. When it's kind of leaking. But yeah, later. So I'm gonna take a shower, so we're gonna see. I think honestly, it's the end of my period. That's why I see no no leaking and shit. But I think my period is joking me. There will be no blood for like the whole night. And then it would reappear the next night. So I don't even know. So we're gonna check right now. Honestly, Metro Cup is really good, really comfortable for everything, honestly. But taking it out is such a hassle. Wish I can just teleport the motherfucking metro cup out. Yeah. I think my period is ending. Because like, when I pulled it out, it's like this much. And it's like liquidy. I found out that when like, you're on a period, period, your blood is not liquidy. But more of like a gooey kind of texture. 
like you can see it when you pour it uh it's like it's like all of it is stuck together but now i just pour it and it's like liquid so i think my period is ending but i don't trust it so i'm gonna use it again today and i'm gonna pull it out tomorrow but at night i'm not gonna pull out pull it out in the morning because it's ending ew there's a spider on my ew so yeah uh this is the last one the fucking day let's go take it off yeah i think this is gonna be the last because i can already see the brown stuff which means my period is really ending sometimes they like to juke me though they appear like the next day but i think I'm, it's really ending because it's it's been like what four days now we're gonna wash it because like my period is ending i'm gonna boil it tomorrow Of course, I'm using a special pan. Are you crazy? I'm not gonna use the pan I used to eat, of course. I bought like a cheap pan just to boil this. So don't you worry. I'm, I am disgusting, but not that, not that disgusting. That's like disgusting, disgusting. If you guys are watching this, you're like, ew, she's so disgusting. Like, oh my god. And if you're a woman, like, why would you say like it's disgusting? And if you guys are see uh, are saying that it's disgusting and stuff, okay, why? You're handling this every month. This is gonna be an educational video because I want to make it, I guess. But like, yeah, you shouldn't feel like disgusted by your pure blood and things like that because your body is literally working every month to get rid of that bad blood from your body so we shouldn't treat it as if like it's disgusting or something or maybe if you have a low tolerance against blood i guess it's fine or i don't know but like you don't have to be disgusted against your pure blood because it's only blood you know we'll answer the questions tomorrow and all that shit yeah tonight i'm just gonna rest and figure out how, how i'm gonna plan the fucking glove video i know that's so random but like I've, it's been on my mind for like all day so i need to figure that shit out so hi people welcome back to my vlog channel i don't know if i'm gonna put this at like the start of the video or the end but i tried using metro cup for the first time at first, I was kind of nervous. I was kind of like, oh my god, because I was scared. I'm a virgin myself. So, like, I'm scared, like, if it's gonna fit, if it's gonna hurt. And I tried it for a week. And I gotta say, this shit is life changing. It is life changing. And I've, like, arranged a couple of questions and how to use it and stuff. And I'm gonna show you today. And I assure you guys that being a virgin doesn't affect anything it, it, it's very comfortable at first when you put it in it's like fine but when you take it out it kind of hurts a little bit but it's like like there are other pains that hurts more than this like it, it doesn't even hurt that much it was like it's like two seconds and it's done and i've arranged like questions and how to use it uh for this video so i've used it about two two months actually it's been two months for me and so i've used it for two cycles and so far the first cycle i was not leak i was leaking but kind of like a little bit it was my learning curve and the second month i didn't leak at all for a week i didn't that was shocking shocking for me because people said it was a three months to learn how to use it so I already mastered it at the second month. It's crazy. So yeah. What is a metro cup? It's basically a replacement for a pad or a tampon. This one is like environment friendly and you can use it up to like 10, 12 years. So it's pretty good. So you don't have to like buy sanitary pads. This can like last a long, long time. And I bought a clear one, so I've used it for two months. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of staining. So if you don't want staining on your metro cup or if you, if you think it's disgusting and shit, you can buy a colored one. 
it won't stain uh, it lasts longer but this one is kind of transparent kind of white kind of cloudy so it did kind of stain a little bit i was expecting it to stain at the six month period or something but um, uh, there's a little bit staining now so yeah next time i'll buy the colored ones but i'm not really that bothered by it i'm not even bothered by the by the slightest but it's like my freaking blood i don't even care so in my starter kit i got a loop to put it easily so you have just like a couple different methods and folds that you can use i use the punch down fold is that how you call it this one like you have to do this and this this is how you use it this is my vagina like that and yeah there's many there's many like folds that you can use i think this is the easiest for a beginner so yeah i used that one and i successfully did it so yay to me and that's how you use it you can use loop on it so it can get any easier or yeah that's how you use it basically to clean it you have to boil it for five to seven minutes so it's like sanitary you only need to change it like two times a day or like one time a day if it can last when you're putting it on you have to create the vacuum effect it's basically that's when you know you succeeded with putting it on if there's no like that kind of like vacuum feeling then you're putting it wrong you have to put it again it's basically a learning curve and like it takes like a couple of tries the benefits of using a menstrual cup is it feels like nothing like you're not on your period like that's crazy to me that's crazy and no extra chemicals that pads and tampons have yes pads and tam tampons have like a certain chemical to it but i forgot what it is so you guys need to search that up and you save money you don't have to buy tampons you don't have to buy menstrual pads like you're saving money so it's good for college students which basically it's good for me in the future so it's waste friendly yeah for people who think about the environment this is this will be good for you and things like that and people might have questions like will it get stuck inside of you or like what would happen if it like gets too far deep like first it's impossible to like be stuck in your body like it won't travel up like it's basically impossible because like you your vagina is like closed so like it won't go anywhere chill it won't go anywhere and the the best way i found out how to like get it out is like do a pooping motion like basically pretend you're pooping and the metro cup will come out by itself so you just have to pull it and when you're pulling it you just put to pinch the bottom so it comes out easily and releasing the vacuum effect in a menstrual cup there's ridges on it this one it's it's for you to have a better grip uh to release the vacuum effect to pinch it basically so this is like basically uh this is your vagina basically and it will come out like a little bit so you can just punch it like this and it will release the vacuum effect like uh punch it like a lot yeah so you can release but if you don't release the vacuum effect it will kind of like hurt you kind of like made a popping sound or something like that i've never done it before because i've always punched it but people say it's like it made a popping sound and it's not good like you uh, it's not a good feeling to have you know just punch it for safety measure every vagina is different like you guys are not gonna have the same vagina as me but if it, it's gonna work regardless so there's like sizes on it so make sure to pick the smallest size for the first time and pick the teen size or the s size okay and so i'm actually wrong here what i meant is that for a virgin or for teenagers you picked s or like the teen sign and if you have done sexual intercourse before you pick the m1 if i'm correct and if you have uh, given birth before you pick the l1 yeah uh, it's different you have to check the sizes all right uh so mine you can't cut the tail like it's made like for a small tail but some metro cup you can cut the tail to basically for preferences like different different people have different preference but so far this has not bothered me this is a good size 
another advice that you do not poop on your menstrual cup because your menstrual cup will be literally fall will literally come out of your vagina and fall in the toilet uh, that's not good not sanitary so the uh, just pull it out or my friend actually they also did the menstrual cup and she said she pooped fine without pulling out the menstrual cup so i don't know i think it, it's every people is like different honestly that's all for the advice thank you for watching this is like my first time like doing a review or like trying out something so i hope i hope like it helps you guys you found something useful about this video for yourself or yeah but thank you for watching i love you guys as usual stay tuned for another video Bye bye